Well, it was both a privilege and a challenge because uh, I knew I had to deliver. I knew I had to prove that I was uh, elected by member states uh, because uh, I was the right person and number two because also I was a woman. So I think that uh, basically the message is that we do need more women in power positions. We cannot to continue to have 75% of parliamentarians, you know, still men, uh, only uh, 21 heads of state, uh, of state and government among 193, uh, you know, less than 5% of women CEOs in the 500 biggest companies. So the numbers are not right, which means that the quality of governance is not right. Uh, gender parity and women's rights is not ab only about justice, it's about common sense, it's, a, it's about arithmetics, but also about quality of a society, of a democracy, uh, of uh, even the, the delivery on the sustainable development goals. Women need to be, uh, you know, at the, at the heart and center of all the public policy, the legislative uh, efforts and the ground efforts also in local governments at the very uh, small household level until the very big international level. But there's a lot, uh, a lot to be done still because women and girls are still marginalized. If you look at the last report of the sustainable development goals, we see that inequalities have grown and the umbrella of the inequalities is inequalities, uh, inequality uh, in genders and uh, uh, women uh, and girls inequality.